Winter is coming and as you can see it already reached my tiny house and winter is always the season where you need to have some presents for friends and family to give out and in case you are currently in need of such a present I got you colored. This is Frozen System, a little minimalist website that creates randomized snowflakes for you. Just hit refresh or download the one you like and you will end up with an SVG file that you can use for your plotters, your laser cutters, you can even 3D print them with a few more steps. This year I wanted to cut some on my laser cutter as I did last year with the first initial batch when I created Frozen System and also published the website. But for this year I wanted to give it a little twist. Recently I got my hands on a nice block of semi-transparent paper and I love it so much as a material that I decided I want to somehow incorporate this semi-transparent look into the snowflake because I think it fits great into an icy theme and an icy topic. So the generator gives you two shapes. One is meant to go into the center and the other one gives additional details on top of that. You can use them however you want, use them single, use them together into one snowflake. That's totally up to you. And the way I like to cut them is to have one centerpiece and then sandwiched on both sides the other parts. So they make nice ornaments that I can hang somewhere or even on a Christmas tree. So I went with 110 grams thick transparent paper and 250 grams of thick blue carton paper. And when you cut paper with the laser cutter, you want to really fine tune that because you don't want to have burn marks. You might need to go a bit slower maybe to have very detailed cuts. You can see every little jitter that your machine makes, so be very careful on that. Better go slower than have jagged lines. And if possible, it's great to tune it in a way that the paper stays in place, but it's loose enough that you can break it out by hand afterwards, but that's actually really hard to tune. And I prefer to have it more on the loose side than needing a knife or scissors afterwards to cut it out. But this comes with one problem. Bigger, loose parts of paper might fly around in your laser cutter and cover up parts where you are currently trying to cut and will then of course prevent the cut, so be careful with that. And of course, never leave your laser cutter unattended. So here's my first batch and it was really hard to tune the cutting for a transparent paper and I think I also made the little snowflakes a bit too tiny. So it was really hard to loosen out the inner parts. They got stuck a lot and there was a lot of manual afterwork, so I was not really satisfied with the process. They looked cute, but the problem also is that the transparent paper is very bendy. So when you assemble the parts, it was not super satisfying for me to look at. But when I tuned the laser cutter for cutting the transparent paper, I realized that it's amazing for marking. So the paper looks really cool and you can see the marking super good. It looks really fantastic when you shine some light through that. So I realized why not swap the two materials for the both parts and do the transparent paper, as the put it as the center and put the non-shine through big carton parts on the outside. And I think this uh, greatly improves everything because you have the cool shine through parts in the middle. You can see the markings very well and you have the thicker carton paper on the outside which holds it together a bit better. And there's also another pro side to this because when I had the carton in the center I had to swap the pieces around to get the markings on both sides. And when I do the transparent paper I only need to mark one side because it's so shine through that it will look marked on both sides. So even better. So my second try went like this. All the pieces go again in my laser cutter. It even goes a bit faster now because the transparent paper doesn't need the second marking run. And I think they came out fantastic. They look so lovely and it's so much fun to assemble them. It's like a little puzzle. From a generative perspective, it's great to see that you only need to look at the outer shape to find your matching pieces. So the outer shape has a lot of variety and this is exactly what you want in generative art. You want to have a very big variety and you want to have very distinct shapes. And if you are able to only assemble your things just by looking at the outer, outer rim, outer border, this is a great sign that this generative project has an, yeah, a great base, a great variety. Very good to see. 
And yeah, I think they came out amazing and it is a ton of fun to make them and assemble them and they feel so nice when you have them in your hand. I'm really looking forward to give them out to some people. And I hope you have fun with the generator too. So feel free to go to frozensystem.bleeptrack.de, um, make your favorite snowflakes, download them and tell me what you do with that. I'd love to see some of your projects that somehow incorporate these little, these little tiny cute snowflakes. As always, it's an open source project and you can use the generated images for everything you want. So I would highly appreciate if you would consider supporting me on Patreon. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'd love to see you next week. Bye.